Hello guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today in this video, I'm gonna show how to install macOS Sequoia on external drive. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now, let's begin. In this video, I'm gonna show two methods of installing macOS Sequoia on an external drive. First method is the easiest one, and also doesn't require any USB installer drive, but you must be able to boot within macOS. Second method is a bit lengthy and requires a macOS Sequoia bootable USB installer, but it may be suitable for users with any older version of macOS installed, which can't run macOS Sequoia installer. Now moving further with this guide, it's important to identify your device, and accordingly, you'll need to plug the storage device into the appropriate port on your Mac. To identify your Mac, click on the Apple icon on the top left in the menu bar, and then choose About This Mac from the list. Here in the About section, if you see Chip, that means you have an Apple Silicon-powered Mac, and if you see Processor, that means you have an Intel-powered Mac. Now, on an Intel-powered Mac, you can plug your storage device into any compatible port. If you're using an Apple Silicon-powered Mac, your Mac has one or more USB or Thunderbolt ports that have a type USB-C connector. While you're installing macOS on your storage device, it matters which of these ports you use. After installation is complete, you can connect your storage device to any of them. For Mac laptop computer, use any USB-C port except the leftmost USB-C port when facing the ports on the left side of the Mac. For iMac, use any USB-C port except the rightmost USB-C port when facing the back of the Mac. For Mac Mini, use any USB-C port except the leftmost USB-C port when facing the back of the Mac. For Mac Studio, use any USB-C port except the rightmost USB-C port when facing the back of the Mac. For Mac Pro with desktop enclosure, use any USB-C port except the one on the top of the Mac that is furthest from the power button. For Mac Pro with rack enclosure, use any USB-C port except the one on the front of the Mac that's closest to the power button. Also, if you're using an Intel-based Mac, ensure you've selected No Security under the Secure Boot options and also allowed booting from external or removable media. If you can't boot via USB or any external media on Intel-powered Mac, make sure to check out the fix from iButton. And now, starting with the first method, you'll require a macOS Sequoia installer and any external storage drive. To download the macOS Sequoia installer, open the App Store and then search for macOS Sequoia. Now from the results, view macOS Sequoia and then click on Get. System Software Update window will pop up and when the macOS Sequoia download pop-up prompts, click on Download and the installer will be downloaded in a while, depending upon your internet connection. After the macOS Sequoia installer is downloaded, it will open automatically. By default, the downloaded installer will be moved to the Applications folder, which can be accessed from the launchpad. Now plug in your external storage device into the appropriate port of your Mac, depending on your Mac model. It's recommended to use a device with good read and write speed, for example, any portable SSD or any enclosure with NVMe. And here you can see the drive appeared. Now open Disk Utility and erase the drive with the following parameters. After the drive is erased, quit Disk Utility and then open macOS Sequoia Installer from the launchpad. After the installer opens, click on Continue, then agree to the terms of SLA. Here, select the external storage device you erased, and then click on Continue. And now, select a user to set as an owner of the new volume. If you want to copy account settings from the user, let the box be checked, otherwise uncheck it, and then click on Install and then enter password. 
And now macOS Sequoia will be installed on your selected external drive in a while. Keep in mind that during the installation process, you Mac may restart several times, so don't worry about that. As you can see, macOS Sequoia setup screen is here. Set up your Mac according to your preference. And now everything is done. And now let me show you the startup disk. Here you can see the startup disk is external, which is the external storage device. Also, if you want to switch between your startup disk, just open settings, then go to the general section and open startup disk options. From here, select the startup disk from which you want to boot, then unlock the system settings and click on restart. So, this was the first and the easiest method to install macOS Sequoia on any external storage device. Now moving toward the second method. In this method, you'll require a macOS Sequoia bootable USB and any external storage drive. Now I'll just create a macOS Sequoia bootable USB installer, same as the guide published. You can check out the guide from iButton. The USB has been created successfully, closed terminal. After creating the bootable USB, boot your Mac to the Startup Manager. For booting your Mac to Startup Manager, for Apple Silicon Press, and hold the power button until you see the Startup option. If you're using an Intel-based Mac, press and hold option are all key during startup. Now, plug in the macOS Sequoia USB installer and then continue booting with it. If you're greeted with macOS Recovery Assistant, select the user you know the password for and proceed with it. Now, if you're greeted with macOS Assistant, quit the Install macOS Assistant
Now select Disk Utility and click on Continue. After the Disk Utility opens, click on View and then select Show All Devices. Now plug in your external storage device into the appropriate port of your Mac, depending on your Mac model. After the drive appears in Disk Utility, erase the drive with following parameters. After the drive is erased, quit Disk Utility. Now select Install macOS Sequoia and click on Continue and proceed with the installer. Here, select the external storage device you erased and then click on Continue. And now, select a user to set as an owner of the new volume and then click on Install. Enter the password when prompted. And now macOS Sequoia will be installed on your selected external drive in a while. Keep in mind that during the installation process, you Mac may restart several times, so don't worry about that. As you can see, macOS Sequoia setup screen is here. Set up your Mac according to your preference. And now everything is done. And now let me show you the startup disk. Here you can see the startup disk is external, which is the external storage device. Also, if you want to switch between your startup disk, just open settings, then go to the general section and open startup disk options. From here, select the startup disk from which you want to boot, then unlock the system settings and click on restart. So, this was the second but quite lengthy method for installing macOS Sequoia on an external storage drive. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.